Hi friends! In my last video I showed you how I created this gorgeous artwork with alcohol links and today I will create a super easy original page with it. Hello my creative friends, I'm Mimi and welcome back to my channel. So because my sheet of paper was larger than my gel plate, I'm left with a large white border all around my print. So the first thing I'm going to do is just fill it in and for that I'm simply placing my paint tubes over the artwork to find what colors will match best. Nothing too sorcerous. Next I'm going to use my brayer to apply those colors over my white border and I'll also use my fingers to blend them and create a similar texture to what I have in the center. I am slowly adding paint here and there to build up opacity and texture and to make sure I don't cover my acrylics too much. Now I'm dabbing the paint on with my finger to disguise the border between the paints and the ink. I think I've managed to make the whole background uniform. If you hadn't seen the whiteboard at the start of the video, would you even know it was there? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to always clean your bray on a separate sheet and turn it into a background for your next original page. I want to add some interest without covering my beautiful background too much. So I've chosen a stencil with some fun typography and I'm going to create texture with modeling paste, which is also called texture paste. I like to apply texture paste with the back of a palette knife and I spread it around like butter on toast. Avoid going back and forth too much with this if you want to get crisp lines. I really love how this looks already because you can still see the background through the wording and the words really look 3D. By the way, have you grabbed this beautiful artwork from my last video? It's a high resolution PDF file you can print and use for collage in your own work or to frame. Click on the link in the description box and enter the code on screen at checkout to download it for free. To make the texture even prettier, I'm going to add some iridescent paint over it with my finger. I like to apply it very lightly and in circular motion so the texture catches most of it rather than the background itself. Because my background is mostly done in blues and aquas, I have chosen matching colors here, but you could also use contrasting colors if you wanted your texture to really pop. Actually, I'm going to add just a little bit of contrast with some iridescent red paint. I think it makes the page look a little bit more interesting. And here is what it looks like up close so far. Pretty cool, I think. For my final touches, I'll add some light gold splatters. Once again, it adds interest without covering my background too much. To add a bit more depth and contrast, I'm also adding darker gold acrylic ink. I'm spraying it with water, moving it around with my fingers and dabbing any excess with a baby wipe. Then I'll repeat the same process with black ink. In the end, not that much of it is left on the page, but it did add some depth, so I think it was worth doing. I'm now adding some light stamping in black ink, mostly around the words, just for extra details. So it doesn't get boring, I'm using three different patterns, but to avoid making it look too busy, which is easy to do, I made sure to only use small designs so it doesn't distract from anything else. I feel like I need a little pop to finish things off, so I'm dabbing a little yellow paint here and there with my fingers, and then I'm done. If you don't know me yet, I'm Mimi, a French-Australian mixed media artist, teacher and author and owner of the Mixed Media Store. In my next video I'll create an art tag using one of my alcohol gel prints, so I hope to see you there! Mm -hmm.